Hi, I'm uh, John, the director of photography here at Pixel Planet Studios, and I'm sitting here with my good friend, Andrew Santon, owner of Liminal Space Rental House here in Cleveland, Ohio. And today we're gonna go over some of the differences between the brand new Alexa 35 and the Alexa Mini LF. So let's take a look. So the biggest difference between these two cameras is the brand new sensor on the Alexa 35 compared with the slightly older sensor on the uh, Alexa Mini LF. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? So the older sensor was called the Alev 3, and that was in use since 2010 on all of Aerie's previous cameras, including the Alexa Mini, full-size Alexa, and the Mini LF and full-size LF. Uh, the LF was just a slightly larger version of the same sensor. So we now have the Alev 4 sensor in the Alexa 35 which has raised a critical standard of having a Super 35 sized sensor with native 4K. Yeah, I see a lot of the publishing of area literature and some of their videos is this seems very specifically built to hit the target of Netflix resolutions and their requirements, whereas uh, this being uh, hitting those similar requirements, but it being full frame, this is kind of the same requirements hitting the Super 35 mark of sensor size. So both of these guys are a four by three sensor, uh, which allows full 2X anamorphic lenses to fit on that sensor, as opposed to the other camera in Aerie's current product lineup, the Aerie Mira, which is a 16 by nine sensor. No anamorphics, except for 1.3. 1.3, yeah, it's really more that. for broadcast, so. The new 35 is, is really a generational leap uh, above their older cameras, which if you've used their older cameras are some of the best in the industry as far as dynamic range goes. Um, a majority of the cameras uh, are based on that similar sensor and, and kind of an evolution of that sensor between you know, 14 and a half, maybe 15 stops at dynamic range and really excellent highlight retention. You know, that, that blowing out is, is not as common on the Alexas where on the 35, it's actually 17 and a half stops at dynamic range, including a stop and a half uh, in the highlight retention. So even more highlight retention uh, in these cameras. It's unbelievable. So the base ISO of most Alexas is about 800, and I believe Aerie states that the base ISO of this sensor is also 800, uh, but some recent testing I've seen is the uh, dynamic range difference between 400 and 3200 ISO on the 35 is a non-difference between any of the dynamic ranges. So shooting between 400 and 3200, you can actually hit the same dynamic range, uh, which really adds even more to the flexibility of an, of an Alexa. We're looking at a brand new color science that Aerie calls Reveal Color Science. Um, it's a new image processor, uh, new sensor, new LUT, uh, new looks, as well as the creative looks that are inside of the camera, kind of built in airy uh, filters. Uh, I believe some of them are for beauty and other things like that, where you can do a, a, a pre-processing of grain and other types of uh, film stop style looks within the camera. Uh, also, instead of a 10 or 12 bit workflow, uh, Aerie decided to do a 13-bit workflow, which is a very airy thing to do. High sensitivity mode is Aerie's new kind of, uh, a lot of cameras call them dual base ISOs, where they can kind of go to an extended range um, for low light shooting. Of course, it's Aerie. They don't call it uh, dual ISO mode. They have to call it, I think it's extended sensitivity mode. Um, and it allows you to shoot up to 6400 ISO uh, and then based on using that settings it actually pulls down some of the grain uh, and gets some really usable footage in some very dark situations. I just read about a DP uh, that was shooting on the 35 for his first project and was actually able to shoot with just moonlight uh, with the high sensitivity mode which unbelievable. is unbelievable especially in Alexa which isn't a, a non light sensitive camera but to shoot in moonlight is unbelievable. The Alexa 35 just covering even more bases than Aerie was covering before. Yeah. We're talking about similarities. We gotta mention the biggest difference, which is new battery standards. This guy is Aerie's new battery standard B-mount batteries. The idea behind B-mount is it more easily um, transitions to 24 volt power for camera standards. As everything becomes more energy intensive, we gotta update our standard. The problem with 12 volts, as it was, is if you are patching through and using power distro through the camera, you might not be able to power all the accessories that you're gonna have on the camera. So this permanently fixes that. We also have, with this new B-mount, uh, the mount itself being recessed into the camera very nicely. So on here, we have a power distribution plate, which is, comes as an optional accessory. The mount can be mounted directly on the camera, and then 
there's no release on the mount itself that's on the battery. So that allows it to be even smaller. So helps the form factor really stay down. And as you can see with the Mini OF, is you need the cage to build off the battery plate with the power distro. There's more power distro built into the camera to begin with. And then adding a power distro block is an inch instead of two inches plus however much the cage is bringing it out. So the build quality on this new guy is really kind of a whole nother level for Airy. They've started with a whole new design aesthetic as opposed to the carbon fiber body of the older cameras. Now the Alexa 35 is a little bit heavier. It's about 0.7 pounds heavier, I believe. But the accessories themselves are all much lighter weight with like a lattice structure, as you can see here. And it's got this almost, you know, like industrial, you know, design to it, uh, which, you know, it's pretty, uh, pretty appealing. It's like an artistic statement. We also have some pretty rad accessories from articulating cheese plates to two stage cheese plates to keep the same form factor, but allow even more mounting points. We have a two stage viewfinder adjustment so that this can articulate even more, yes. more flexibility. Yeah, I know the viewfinder is much better improved as far as the mechanism goes. There's also a lightweight accessory kit, which may come standard with a lot of these packages where all of the studio cage disappears and you can have the most minimal mounting points with carbon fiber handle that like, you know, weighs like a couple grams. Anybody who's a follower of Airy knows that we've been waiting for the Alexa 35 for many years, uh, and they've had tons of setbacks with uh, the pandemic uh, and tons of other things, and also their rigorous testing. But uh, great friend Andrew here was able to get his hands on a 35 for his rental house. Tell me a little bit more about that that whole situation. So this Alexa 35 is one of the first ones in the Midwest, and it might be that way for a little while. It's going to be months, if not years, before the order queues have been filled. Check out the link below for a link to our website. We ship nationwide. Hope to make this camera available for everybody. Well, that was a look at the Alexa 35 versus the Alexa LF. Again, this is available nationwide uh, in the link below. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you like the content we're putting out and leave a comment below if you'd like uh, to see something to uh, produce with either of these cameras uh, and even some testing. See you on the next one.